this lesson, we are going to dive into the configuration of a co-managed company. So you probably have a few customers who also have their own in-house IT, but would still like to outsource the rest of their IT department. There are two options for situations like this. First is the use of Taskfire, which is an add-on to Autotask. Taskfire is an extension to the client portal, which the in-house IT department can use as kind of like a service desk system. This system integrates with Autotask, so you can easily collaborate on tickets. The um, second option is to set up a co-managed company. Through co-managed companies, you can assign resources from a single company to a maximum of 500 different companies. So even if they have subsidiaries, you can still assign resources to only that company and only their subsidiaries. The um, in-house IT department gets their own Autotask login with a special security level so they can only view data associated with the uh, companies they have access to. So let me show you how it works. So let's first take a look at the co-managed help desk security level. To do that, let's go to admin um, by going to the uh, hum hamburger menu in the top left corner and clicking on admin right here. And then we are going to expand on resources users HR right here by clicking the plus sign. And as you can see under security right here, we have secu security levels. So we, we are going to click on that. And as you can see, there is a co-managed help desk system um, uh, security level, which has a special license type. As you can see, it's, it's licensed as co-managed help desk. So let me show you how this um, security level works. We can click here on the edit sign to see the security level itself. So if I go to CRM, for example, as you can see, they can only see their own customers and their own cancellations. And also they can see none of the vendors and partners and only their own prospect leads, etc. And as you can see, they are really restricted in what kind of companies they can see. So they, they can view only the above and they can edit or delete none. And the same goes for, um, for stuff like configuration items and stuff like that. They can only view uh, the, the, the items associated with their, uh, with their own company. And as you can see, it's really restricted. Um, uh, throughout the whole security level. So what you can do is if you can take this security level as the, um, as the default or you can tweak it and uh, copy it and make your own security level based on this co-managed help desk security level. Okay, um, so after you've, you've gotten the security level you wanted or after you've made the security level you wanted, Let's go back to the admin menu by clicking on this uh, arrow right here. Let's collapse this one and let's go to service desk tickets and expand on this. And as you can see on the right hand side, we have co-managed company set up right here. So let's click on that. And we are in the co-managed company setup right now. So what, you're, what you want to do is you want to make um, a resource for that company and give them the security level you just created. After you've done that, you can come here and you can click on this button right here, enable co-managed for a company. And you can just search for the right company um, by typing in the name or clicking on the selector icon right here. So let's say I want to do this for this ABC demo company. I can just select it. I can select the resources with the uh, co-managed help desk security level and license. And they will only be able to just see the info of the ABC demo company. After you've selected the right resources, just click on save and close right here. And it'll be set up automatically for you. And um, it, it, it'll be visible right here in this, uh, in this grid right here. And you can see the company names in, in this column and the resources which are um, assigned to, to those companies you, uh, you can see in this column. So after you've done that, you can go here to the second tab by resource. 
And the resources with the co-managed help desk security level and license will be visible here. And you can set a ticket category override. So what you probably want to do is you want to make a separate ticket category for only that company and just restrict as much as possible. So um, maybe you don't want them to uh, view the other queues or you only want to uh, make certain form templates visible or you, you only want to make certain checklists visible. You can just restrict everything within the ticket category. And um, uh, when you have the resources here with the, uh, with the co-managed help desk security levels, you can just assign the ticket category override right here. And um, by assigning the ticket category override, you, you will be making sure that they can only use the ticket category you want them to. And that's the right ticket category for their uh, own company. So um, yeah, that's, th that's the, the basics of the co-managed company setup. If you'd rather um, use Taskfire instead of the co-managed company setup, you probably have to uh, contact your Autotask account manager so they can, uh, they can help you with that. But uh, yeah, the, the co-managed company setup right here, that's, you, can, you can always use that. So it's just a little bit simpler and, uh, to use it and to set it up.